Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about how Twitch has managed to accidentally ban Israel and Palestine for over a year, or at the very least prevent new signups from both of those countries. And yes, you did hear that right, they supposedly did this accidentally, at least in terms of the duration, because yes, they did intend to ban both Israel and Palestine immediately following the terrorist attacks on October the 7th of 2023, but apparently forgot to unban those two countries at the point that they wanted to unban them. How long this ban duration was supposed to last has never actually been fully elaborated on, only that it was supposed to be temporarily. The exact method of how this was done, however, has been fully elaborated on, as Twitch simply disabled the email signup verification method, though it is worth noting that the phone verification process was re-enabled at some point at least. Or so Twitch claims at the very least. Of course, we can't exactly verify that now, unless someone that managed to be from Israel or Palestine managed to sign up at that time, did so with the phone verification process, and can vouch on Twitch's behalf. And I say this because the level of sheer incompetence required to ban two entire countries from signing up, and then actually accidentally failing to unban those two countries for over a year is so utterly extreme that it is in many ways simply beyond belief. Considering some of the other dishonest behavior on the part of Twitch, especially in more recent times, which just so happens to surround the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine, controversies that can best be described as a miniature civil war of sorts between various factions of the far left, a topic that I believe is worth its own video in its own right, and again also considering the fact that the conflict itself is still ongoing and there is still plenty of blood and gore to go around in terms of footage, it's not exactly beyond the scope of reason to believe that Twitch may have wanted to wait until the conflict had properly died down before retracting its temporary banning of new signups for both Israel and Palestine. Technically, bans that would have been one month long, a year long, or ten years long are all still temporary. Regardless, though, the actions of Twitch are simply unacceptable in this situation. Banning the sign-up process for two entire countries over the actions of what a handful might do is simply not acceptable. It is a massive violation on the principles of free speech. And yes, I do get the argument that Twitch is making about preventing blood and gore from ending up on the site. That still does not justify in any way the complete banning of sign-ups for two entire countries. Blood and gore are already against the rules on Twitch, and there are are already legitimate methods of dealing with that. Resorting instead to such a massive and widespread ban to the point that you have prevented two entire countries from signing up exclusively because you don't want blood and gore to be shown on your platform in any way is simply beyond the pale. And no, it does not actually matter if these two countries were accidentally banned for a full year or not at least in terms of whether or not it was a bad idea. Though the claim that Twitch is making that this was an accidental decision to leave them banned for a full year does further demonstrate itself that the people who are running Twitch are simply unworthy of making such decisions in the first place as well, simply because they can't be trusted not to screw up. Now, as I've already stated, I'm probably going to end up covering some of the other controversies surrounding Twitch that just so happened to involve the conflict between Israel and Palestine, though that is going to be more about the culture war itself specifically. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.